Why doesn't the black thing work for me? <laughs> hey everyone, it's me, Halise, endeavoring to persevere. As always, if you're new here, I make videos about my chaotic good life. Subscribe, follow, social media. It helps. Do it. Do it. So today, it's probably gonna be a relatively quick video, but I'm going to go ahead and review Head & Shoulders Royal Oils Shampoo. A few of y'all, when I made a video talking about how I use Head & Shoulders on my locks, a few of y'all did ask if I had tried this version yet. Um, and the answer was yes, I was trying it in the background. <laughs> I think the main difference between the Royal Oils line of Head & Shoulders versus just regular Head & Shoulders, I guess, I guess, is that it's catering more towards uh, the black demographic. And so it's very much talking about maintaining moisture in your hair because I think we all kind of know head and shoulders can be a little drying. And then also using uh, ingredients that we all seem as the, as the diaspora, as a digital diaspora, we all seem to enjoy. So things like coconut oil, for example, is sort of the mainstead ingredient that I, they've put on the labeling for us. And it's like a cue, a cue for all of us to know. So as I said, I've been trying this product in the background for a while now, actually for a couple of months, um, because you know, the bottles are big. It takes you a minute to get through a bottle. When I first reached for this product and I, when I first saw that they even had this product and they came out with a whole line based on this Royal Oils, branding, look, feel, whatever. I couldn't help but just have a minute of pause and I feel like I just kinda wanna talk about this more in the comments with y'all. No shade to head and shoulders at all. Y'all been holding me down. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> uh, Cause I have allergies that present themselves in my scalp all the time. Um, and I have dandruff that's year round. So using head and shoulders, it really just keeps my scalp in check, keeps my hair clean, all of that. I really love it. But when I saw the whole Royal Oils line, it really just had me thinking like, do I need my blackness identified by head and shoulders? I don't think I do. And that was the thing, that was sort of like the deeper thing that I started thinking about with this line of products, where it was just kind of like, to me, head and shoulders is a brand that isn't really a brand that needs to be specific about a demographic at all. I feel like if you're reaching for head and shoulders, you're reaching for it not necessarily because you're a certain race or a certain demographic, but because you have a scalp issue and you know head and shoulders are gonna hold you down. <laughs> Dandruff issues are universal. I don't need to be reminded you know, I don't need to be black with dandruff issues. Like, I just need, I just have dandruff issues and that's it. Anyway, on the, but on a separate note, let's get into the actual like bare bones review of this product. So for me, eh, eh. Um, which is another reason why it had me thinking about this. Like, do I need to be, do I need to have like a multi hyphenate identity when it comes to dandruff? <laughs> because for me, um, the main sort of ingredient, like I said, is with the Royal Oils line is coconut oil. And I actually, my hair doesn't do well with coconut oil at all. Now, in comparison, you know, the Royal Oils line is supposed to be focusing on moisture as well. I did notice that the shampoo itself is a smidgen thicker, if you will, than um, other versions of Head & Shoulders that I've used. But comparing it to the deep moisture version of Head & Shoulders, I actually like that one better. And that one comes with avocado oil. But also just in general, if you actually look at the ingredients list on these products, you know, the oil is like the 12th ingredient. <laughs> so again, I feel like if you're the type of person that's using head and shoulders, you're not thinking about, like that's not, moisture is not your main concern. Or if it is, you already know the steps to take after using a product like this um, to put moisture back into your hair. Um, you're reaching for a head and shoulders because it's medicinal for you. You're using it to maintain or help maintain a certain level of health. And then on the back end, doing what is necessary to have good moisture. So when I wash my hair with head and shoulders deep moisture, it stays cleaner a lot longer and I don't have to shampoo as often. Um, I can get away with shampooing once a week 
if I'm working out a lot, twice a week. But with the Royal Oils version, I felt like my hair did not stay as clean. Um, I had to shampoo a couple more times than usual. So that's something else that I kind of was just like, this just isn't working for me, <laughs> you know? Which then gets you into this whole identity crisis of like, why doesn't the black thing work for me? <laughs> As always, take my review with a grain of salt because I have, again, I have scalp conditions. Um, certain oils really just don't. Oil in general is kind of a thing that I stay away from unless, again, it's moisturizing just the bottoms, bottom half of my locks. As for me and my house, uh, we're gonna stick to the deep moisture version and call it a day. But I'm happy I got to try it. Again, head and shoulders, y'all be holding me down for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Um, thanks, but no thanks? I'm never gonna get sponsored at this rate. But anyway, in the comments below, if you've tried the uh, Royal Oils line, any of the other products, let us know in the comments below because if it did work for you and it did have a significant difference, I want people to know that. So um, let us know your hair type, hair texture, all that kind of fun stuff, and then which products you use, your method, all that kind of good jazz in the comments below so we can keep this conversation going. All right. Thank you to my Patreon production team for holding me down. If you're interested, patreon.com slash halise. And finally, check out this video because YouTube thinks you'll like it. Or check out this one because, because, because. I'm Halise. I'll see you when I see you.